So in this question we're told that x is the center of the cube and the cube has edges of length e so we're going to say that's e and e and e so there's all our edges um, and we're asked to find the distance from a to x and what you need to know is when you're dealing with distances between points in three-dimensional space you're pretty much always dealing with right triangles and that's certainly the case here right so what I want to do is first just look at the right triangle that is formed when we consider the bottom square. Remember, cubes are made up of squares. So on the bottom here, this is a square. And I'm going to redraw that right here. And so there is the right triangle I just drew. And that's E and E. And of course, because you know your 45, 45, 90 triangles, and you know that anytime you have a diagonal of a square, you make a 45, 45, 90 triangle, you know that this is going to be e radical 2. And if you didn't know that, well, you really need to look at your uh, special right triangles, and I'll put the link uh, to that in the video if you want to check that out. All right, so now we know that this length here is e radical 2. All right, and so we're going to write that in. This is e radical 2. Okay, and that is going to end up being, I'm going to change colors here, that's going to end up being the base of a right triangle that we can use to actually find AX. So here's another right triangle, right? And that right triangle has uh, one leg of E radical 2, and of course the other leg is E, because we know that the dimensions of the cube, the edge lengths are E. So now we've got another right triangle, and this is not drawn to scale obviously, uh, but that's E, and this is e radical 2. And so if we want to solve for this whole long diagonal, we're going to call it x. Uh, I don't want to call it x for now because we've got an x in the thing. We'll call it y. If we want to solve for y, all we do is the Pythagorean theorem, right? So we're going to say e squared plus e radical 2 squared equals y squared. And of course, when I square these things, I get e squared plus 2e squared equals y squared, 3e squared equals y squared, come on pen, and then of course that makes e uh, radical 3 equal to y when I take the square root of both sides. So this is e radical 3. And I want to know ax, which is only half of that, so ax is going to be e radical 3 over 2. Cool? I think it's cool.